Why did Auburn University ever even come into existence? Why didn't the University of Alabama just expand its curriculum to block Auburn from being created? That question was asked as part of Ask Alabama by Greg. Just Greg? Fine. Well, just Greg, they tried. Special thanks to Jess Gregg because digging into this appears to show the real start of the Alabama-Auburn rivalry, and it had nothing to do with football. The University of Alabama was established in 1831, but back then colleges weren't what we think of when we think of colleges today. The University of Alabama and most other colleges around the country focused on the classics. That meant making sure their students could read and write Latin and Greek, and the students studied philosophy and theology and literature, and that was great if you were from an upper crusty family looking to become a lawyer or a politician. It was like a status symbol. But if you were like most people in the U.S. who made their livings either in factories or, especially in the South, planting things into and pulling things out of the dirt, it wasn't super useful. The dirt don't speak Latin. In an effort to promote learning among the working class and increase agricultural and manufacturing output in the U.S., Congress passed the Morrill Act a law that would establish agricultural and mechanical schools in states that wanted them. Now you may hear agricultural and mechanical school and think these schools just taught skills to farmers and line workers, but what they were really teaching was science and engineering, which most other colleges at the time weren't. You can still find some of the schools created by the Morrill Act because they include A&M in their name, agricultural and mechanical. Unfortunately, Alabama couldn't get an A&M school because the Morrill Act was passed during the Civil War and states that were actively trying to leave the country weren't eligible. But eventually, after the war, Confederate states became eligible and Alabama was offered a grant to establish an A&M school. And a lot of Alabama cities wanted it. These schools have proven pretty popular in the North because they appealed not just to the upper class, but also to the working class. And the town that got the school could expect a big boost to the economy from all the teachers and students moving in. So there was a lot of debate as to where it should go. Under the Morrill Act, the grants couldn't be used to build new buildings, so the school had to go somewhere an existing school already was. The University of Alabama made a claim to have the A&M school included as part of their campus in Tuscaloosa, and most people thought they were going to get it because it was the state's oldest university. But they had competition, first from Florence, which offered up a Methodist college in their town to become the new A&M school. They also had backing from a former governor and a lot of power players. And finally, Auburn, Alabama. Auburn, Alabama offered up another Methodist college, but this one was financially failing to the point that if it didn't get taken by the state, it was going to have to be closed down anyway. Auburn had a weak bid. Regardless, lawmakers chose chose a search committee to pick which city was going to get the new school. Now, if we're being honest, the University of Alabama was never really a front runner because it had lost most of its buildings in the Civil War, but they thought they were, and a lot of other people thought they were, and that may explain the bitterness later on in this story. But after voting, the committee publicly announced their decision for the new home of the A&M school, Florence. And I know this is a video about Auburn, something weird happened. The committee did vote for Florence, but when a small group from the committee went to the House of Representatives to present the decision, that group instead presented a dissenting report about how the school should be in Auburn? And I can't exactly nail down why, beyond this was just the post-Civil War Reconstruction Era South, and there was all kinds of chicanery and backroom dealings happening all over the place. But it didn't matter, because that's where it went. The Agricultural and Mechanical College of Alabama was set up in Auburn in 1872 and eventually just became Auburn University. And people at the University of Alabama held a big grudge against Auburn since pretty much the second it opened its doors. Keep in mind, this is 20 years before either school had a football team. But eventually they did get football teams and found a healthy outlet for this rivalry in the form of football. So there you go. Alabama had tried to stop Auburn from being created, but they had just been wrecked by the Civil War and weren't really in a position to do anything. And a little of the secret history of the rivalry between the two schools. I'm Jonathan Sobolewski for Reckon. Thank you.